you know, what do, exactly does this phrase mean when it says that we know that we have eternal life? Well, uh, you know, I've got some thoughts on it this morning, but, you know, I don't believe that when it says here that you can know that you have eternal life, that we know in the scientifically observable sense. Because, you know, if, if we could see it, then it would no longer be faith. So it, I don't think it's no in that sense, and that's how we would use the word today. If we say, I know something, it means you've seen it with your own eyes, you, you've observed it scientifically in the sense that you can observe it, you can test it, you can repeat it, and you know um, what you're looking at. Basically, you know by, by sight and not by faith. But, you know, there are some theories, you know, some theories, you know, when you have a theory, uh, you, know, you, know, uh, you know, like basically an explanation of some facts, some theories can be made to look more reasonable or less reasonable based on um, you know, scientific observation, which means you, you, know, you can actually see it, you can actually test it. But what we have to understand is it, that scientific observation doesn't ultimately prove some theories. And some, for example, some theories would be you know, the existence of a divine being. You, know, you can scientifically observe things and it could make that theory of that divine being more reasonable or less reasonable, but it doesn't ultimately prove that that divine being exists. Um, another example would be, you know, origins, how the world was created. You know, we can have a theory of how the world was created. You know, you, you have evolution and then you have, you know, divine creation. But even though we can, we can observe evidence in this world, it doesn't ultimately prove uh, one theory or another. It just makes a theory more reasonable or less reasonable. What are some other examples? You know, historical events. Because we can't go back in a time machine and actually observe what happened in the past, and this is, you know, the same point as, as creation because it's a historical event, but even to do with civilizations. I mean, just because they dig up some pots, they, they see some paintings, you know, it can lead you to have a, a reasonable conclusion about why, what you believe about that civilization, but does it ultimately prove that that theory is correct? No, you have to believe um, that theory. It can make it more reasonable or less reasonable, but doesn't ultimately prove it. And a couple of other examples would be, you know, miracles that happened in the past. Um, the spiritual realm, you know, you can have evidence or you can, you can interpret facts to make, you know, the spiritual realm more reasonable. You know, the fact that a lot of people believe it, you know, that's a fact, but does that prove that the spiritual realm exists? Well, no, but does it not? Does it prove that the spiritual realm doesn't exist? It doesn't do it either way. So, you know, the spiritual realm, uh, it's the same with future events, things that are going to happen in the future, um, and also things that happen after you die, which is a, a future event. So there are some examples of theories that people can have, and scientific observation doesn't uh, prove or disprove them. It can only make them seem more reasonable or less reasonable, um, depending on how much scientific observation there is. And you know, this is why, you know, so, so, why, so that, that's why they can't be proven, because they can't be proven because they can't be observed in order to be tested. So that's why, you know, we have to be careful when we watch, you know, a lot of documentaries out there. Because you know there are documentaries on history, you know, ancient civilizations, um, and there are documentaries on astronomy, and, and the, the big one I think where they take the most liberties is, is astronomy and also archaeology. Because you ever wonder, you, you watch these documentaries, for example, on astronomy, and it's almost like this camera is like flying through space and it's showing you what these stars look like and what these galaxies look like. And you're like, whoa, is that what the universe looks like? But you've got to remember, they have no idea that that's what this looks like. You know, they look into the sky and they see dots of light. And all they see is the color of the light and, and things like that. And then they come to all these conclusions based on you know, what they believe about physics and what they believe about things like that. And you know, are, are they right? Maybe. But the point I'm trying to make is, is when they fly this camera, this you know, 3D image around the universe showing you what this distant galaxy looks like, I mean, obviously they, they haven't seen it. They just believe that's what it looks like. Um, and they're just trying to, to make a reasonable assumption. But we just got to understand that they, they don't know. All they see is the light. And, you know, even with documentaries on dinosaurs, I mean, think about it. They dig up bones 
but then they're going to tell you the, the breeding habits of this animal. They're going to tell you like what this animal sounded like. I mean, how can they even know that? And it just goes to prove that a lot of these documentaries on so-called science are not actually science. They're not actually something that they've observed and tested. It's all just uh, belief and theory.